Jumai, welcome. Sorry about the racket, I'm printing something out. Um, and I wanted to try and get this mesh network video out. So this is the second Diary Edge entry. I was able to, to sneak away um, and do some experimentation on, on range and distance. Um, so the idea is to build just a, um, a simple mesh network and then send, see how far I can send some data through it. So this is just my first sort of experimentation. Um, so I uh, went along the, the coastline in the, the village which I'm, I'm using as my my um, um, my lab, and uh, I placed six ESP32s. Um, we should have then a range of like 1.2 kilometers. Uh, it's a nice easy um, example here because it's all flat, so there's there's no hills or buildings for the, the information to travel through. Um, in the first video, I explained that, I, but the plan is is to blanket this whole village here in Bitcoin transaction data, um, sort of broadcast bit Bitcoin transaction data, and then. Um, uh, also have a unicast layer which you can send transactions through. So I used five or sorry six ESP32s along here, um, and then the idea is that because they have a 200 meter radius, minimum I could blanket the um, this the, the Mumbles village here in uh, Bitcoin transaction Bitcoin transaction data uh, using 25 ESP32s. But I've got 50 ESP32s, so that should be plenty. Um, so I actually placed. Uh, the SP32s on along this railing here, which runs all the way along this coastline, and um, uh, it doesn't look like much, but like, there is a kilometre there. Trust me. Um, uh, the the reason these two are quite close together was because uh, one was was inside my van, which I'm going to explain in, in a moment. Um, and then, so the idea is, can I, from where I'm stood here taking this photo, can I send a um, a lightning transaction invoice uh, through my mesh network and then have it pop out um, on my laptop over here. Uh, so that was really just the first first experimentation. I've got uh, my ASP32 plugged in and that's connected to the mesh, well, just opened a mesh network. And then I've set up six uh, mesh uh, ASP32s in little bags. And we're gonna distribute these uh, along the, the seafront with about 100 meters between each other. And then I'm gonna see if I go to the far end of the mesh network if I um, send a command, whether uh, this ESP32 is going to receive it. So I've got the webcam set up to capture it, if it does. Um, so hopefully, you know, it'll be a successful experiment. And then um, I'm going to try and send a, once I've done that, I'm going to try and send a lightning invoice uh, from the other side of the mesh network to here. I couldn't get anyone to, to join me though, so we'll just see the mesh, uh, the uh, lightning invoice pop up on the, on the terminal, um, but we won't actually be able to pay it. But we can imagine that someone could then pick it up and pay it or whatever, or it could be um, open up a wallet and then you could pay it from there. So yeah, so wish me luck. I set the SP32 is about an equal distance apart from one another, it's about 150 meters. Uh, they have a max range of 200 meters, they have a nice clear line of sight with one another though. And then I set up a hotspot, uh, the closest node on the uh, mesh will connect to that hotspot. And then I use simple TCP socket test. Uh, um, there's plenty of Android apps out there, but th this one seemed to work pretty well. Um, so I made a simple TCP server and I sent uh, just this, this sort of uh, um, JSON uh, formatted bit of data. Uh, the address is FFFFF, which means that it's gonna broadcast out to the whole uh, mesh network. And it's got a perimeter of status one. And that means that um, if the SP32s receive the data, then their little blue LEDs will turn on. So I checked the first uh, ESP32, which wasn't too far away from me, and it had a blue LED. Fantastic. And then I went over to check the second um, ESP32, and that had a blue LED too. And the third, at this point it was starting to look pretty promising, also had a blue LED. Let's go check the fourth, we had a blue LED, so it's all working out pretty well for me. And then on the fifth, blue LED, very nice. The sixth, now the sixth had a red LED, and that sucked. Right, now, I doubt this has worked, because the one just before the van had uh, managed to not turn on, so let's have a little look. Bollocks, look at that. It's not on. 
Let's see if any of the um, see if any of them got through. Yeah, it was clear going through that none of the data had actually gotten um, gone through the the, the S from the SP32 to the laptop. So I got the SP32s together and just checked to make sure that they they are all working and communicating with one another. Um, and they are. They sent the same command and it worked. So I decided to take one of the SP32s and then just chuck it out the window and then um, see if that stops the the signal from being blocked. I think it's probably the van. Um, I sent the, the, the same string of data again, um, but this time I, in the uh, one of the parameters I put the uh, lightning invoice um, and I had some success. The um, all the SP32s, as before, showed the, the blue LED. Um, and then when I went back to the van to, 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 to check the, um, the footage from the webcam, the blue LED came on, fantastic. Um, I'm gonna show that again in slow motion. Um, so any second now the blue LED is gonna turn on. Boom, and if you look in the serial monitor, which is the data coming up from the bottom there, you can see it says an invoice for a lightning invoice there. So that's the data which was sent through the mesh network. So it worked. Um, using these ESP32s in these little bags, I was able to um, send uh, a Bitcoin transaction data um, just a, an invoice through the, my mesh network, which is pretty cool. Um, I need to look into a how I'm going to power the SP32s. Uh, so because they're you know some of the smaller ones which I could use, um, they could be kind of like retrofitted into here's one retrofitted into light bulbs, and they could be um, installed in the um, um, some of the street lights or something. Um, I got a whole bunch of mates who I could put the SP32s on, on you know, out their windows on, on top of their, their roofs or whatever. Um, so the other thing I wanted to look into as well, because uh, the obviously the issue with this experiment was um, when the SP32 was inside the van, the signal couldn't get to the, um, the SP32. Uh, I guess it is kind of like a metal box. Um, you might find it easier to get through a house. Uh, but I wanted to look into maybe some external antenna because I know you can uh, solder an external SMA antenna onto these things and boost the signal somewhat. So that's something I need to look into. Or uh, if the ESP32s are sort of visible from rooftops maybe, um, then maybe it's a case of if people want to have access to that uh, Bitcoin transaction data for free, then you know the minimum thing, minimum thing they've got to do is kind of like you know, put something out the window so they can get a signal from that ESP32, which is on the roof down, you know, a few doors down or whatever. So, yeah, so antenna and um, how I'm going to power the things is going to be the next thing I'm going to start looking into. Um, and then maybe also, because this was kind of like a clear line of sight mesh network, um, so I think next time I kind of need to do kind of a, a wider mesh network, more of like a, a, a you know, a grid of mesh of ESP32s. Um, so I'm going to look into doing that as well. So there we are. Thanks for watching. I'm not sure when I'll get around to um, making uh, another mesh diary. Uh, hopefully soon because it's really interesting stuff. Um, there's some cool events coming up. So if you're in Munich at the end of this month, there's uh, Fulmer's got the Lightning Hack Day on. And that's going to be great. I'm going to be helping out with the um, uh, Raspberry Blitz uh, uh, hack, hack Desk. So if you're there and you, you know, you've know you got some questions or you're working on a project or if you want to... Um, uh, if you're near Munich and you want to attend, if you go on the 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 uh, it's full mo uh, lightning hack day. If you Google it, you'll you'll get the the Munich website. Um, you can order a ticket to attend. It's super cheap. I think it's like five euros or something. Um, uh, and you can also, if you if you want, you could order the parts to to build a, a Raspberry Blitz on the day. So that'd be good. Um, so there we are. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you next time. Cheers.